Yes, guys, hope everybody is well. Right, I want to do a quick video today about what I think are the best supplements right now on the market when it comes to looking after your health when you're bodybuilding. And even people who are not bodybuilding and not using performance enhancing drugs, aka PEDS, steroids. I think a lot of these would be useful as well just to keep your body healthy. Right, I'm going to run through what I think from my own experience what i think is the best stack that i use right in total so i first want to say start off by i'm not sponsored by any of these companies i've tried multiple different brands in the year what i'm what my opinion is based on is purely profile blood work and how i feel on these supplements so the most what i run year round is trained by jp vital support it's great Great cycle support all year round, prep, off season, all year round, doesn't matter when, right? It's a good cycle, it's a good product because it, in, it includes astragalus, astragalus, sorry, um, NAC, IP6, Tudka, pine bark extract, right? This is going to cover your most bases, right? Especially your liver. Tudka, NAC are great for your liver. And the astragalus will help as well when it comes to blood pressure. So just general all over cycle support is a mega product. There's no other product on the market that is priced as well as this. Because if you just buy Tudka by itself, it's about 39 quid. When this product's about what? About 35, 36 quid I think. If you use one of the discount codes on the website, that's an all round supplement. The next product that I want to talk about is Trained by JP Love Heart. This product here is great for your kidneys, great for your heart, and it does help reduce blood pressure to an extent. If your blood pressure is seriously high, then maybe you need to do some other things as well alongside taking. These supplements are not purely gonna fix you. They're gonna help you alongside a healthy diet, a healthy cardio, all the other stuff, right? So this has got in it citrus bergamot, Ubiquinol, grapeseed extract, and celery seed extract. This here, if you were to buy all of them ingredients separately, would cost you around about 50 quid. This product's around about 39 pounds, so that's a month supply, which is excellent. I use that year round. The next product that I really like is, right, so there's two versions of these guys. So for all of my vegan followers, you can use the Omega V. These are basically just your Omega 3, 6, and 9s. They're going to help with your general, your cholesterol, your bad fats, your good fats, simple terms, right? And also what they are, very, very good anti-inflammatories as well. And if you're not vegan and you can afford to pay the extra amount, I think these are around about 17 quid. These are about 35 quid, but these are way, way better. Way more potent ingredients, better ingredients, because these actually contain actual fish oils and it is a farmer grade fish oil that's inside these so i find these great as usual i was going to say for your cholesterol your blood pressure in essence as well i think it does play a part that's a really good product for general health as well right let's get into some of the supplements i like to add on top a lot of the supplements right now in the industry they don't contain everything that I would like to use to keep my body super healthy, especially my liver. I think there are a lot more things that could be added to these supplements, but it would increase the price so much, it put a lot of people off paying for them. So I like to use year round milk thistle. Um, use any brand you like, use a reputable brand, obviously. A reputable brand. Milk thistle has been shown time and time again, right? Even Dante Trudeau said it in the past as well, and on his old forums. Staple product to help with the liver, um, liver support. It has been tested multiple times, it's amazing. So I use this morning and night for liver. Another one that's not used that much anymore is Live52DS. A lot of people have actually forgot about this product. It's used a lot abroad in India and Pakistan. There's been a lot of studies on it showing that it is very, very beneficial as well for people who have got liver problems. So guys, look into that. It's mega cheap. It's like $8.99, $7.99, I think. I think if you get it from India, it's about two, three quid. So 
for the price, it's brilliant. Vitamin C, I use that every single day. The reason is stronger immune system. It just helps with everything, in my opinion. It gets rid of what I find, a um, bit of water retention as well. General well-being is better. I find this, since I've been using 2,000 milligrams a day, I get ill a lot less, which is brilliant. Another really good supplement. We'll keep this one to the end. This is one of my favourite ones. Very, very underrated. I'm surprised Strom or JP have not released their own version, to be honest. This here, stinging nettle root. Great supplement for prostate health. I use it year round because look guys, I use anabolics, I use steroids, right? So we all know that using steroids or any sort of performance enhancing drug can possibly increase the chance of your prostate health, right? So I like to keep that in year round as well, morning and night. This is a really good one. Red yeast rice. Right, so this is used in some parts of the world instead of using a statin. So it will actually reduce blood pressure. A lot of the studies are very, very good on it. Um, great, great, great product. A lot of other companies, they have got this in their products, but not enough in my opinion. The supplement needs CV Pro has it in, but in my opinion, not enough. And that's why I always add in two in the morning, two at night, that it gives me. 1,400 mg of red yeast rice, so blood pressure is a big thing. And if we can keep the cholesterol in range as well, it's all it all plays, they're all linked together, right? This product here, right, so I don't use niacin anymore. I'm using that to help my blood pressure. That was giving me the fucking most crazy hot flushes, right? I'd sit every single day and I would just... I'd have to take all my clothes off, sit in front of the fan, and my whole skin would go red and I'm brown. This is a great product when it comes to keeping your skin really, really healthy. If you look into the um, all the results of this online, this one ain't really going to help you with the uh, blood pressure issues, but it will help with better skin, anti wrinkles, all that sort of Asian sort of things, and you'll get way less spots. Well, I've been getting less spots recently, anyway, and. Dante Trudeau rates that, so don't argue with me. Right, guys, the next product I want to talk about is one that I really, really rate. I'm surprised Strom, JP, none of these guys have made this yet. Maybe because it's going to be too expensive, right? I do use a high dosage as well. That is, I can't pronounce it, Resveratol. Res, Resveratol. Res. Say it, D, will you? Resveratrol. Resveratrol. If she said it wrong, don't fucking laugh at my wife. Laugh at me, not, bastards, not okay? Fault. Laugh at fucking me. Um, right, this supplement here is brilliant. So there's a lot of studies on it, and it does actually show it will reduce inflammation. It can help stabilise blood sugars. It has... There's a lot of studies showing that it can possibly reduce estrogen, but how, how true that is, I don't really know, guys. Helps... Reduce bad cholesterol and also it does help lower blood pressure as well. And there are a lot of the things that will happen to you when you do use steroids or growth hormone or both of them combined. And if you're a bodybuilder eating a lot of food, this, in my opinion, plays a vital, vital role. Another supplement that I do want to shout out that I've not got here because I forgot to bring it to the table is um, vitamin D3. I think everyone year round should be using vitamin D3, especially people in the UK, right? Because we don't get much sun here at all. Um, last summer I actually took out all my vitamin D3, ran my blood, and my vitamin D3 was basically like right at the bottom of the range. And since I've been and I used to always feel tired, I added it back in. My fatigue dropped off. I feel way more alert. I feel way more healthy as well. Vitamin D3 guys, get that in any brand is cheap as fuck. This last product I want to talk about is trained by JP's Insure. It's a product I like to use in the off season. I'm not using it right now because my food's not high enough. When food gets high and blood sugars get a little bit too high, this is a great product, guys. I'll look into this. Um, an alternative for this would be Strom Sports Glycomax. I'm sure Complete Strength do one as well. But this here, in my opinion, is the best one with the best profile as well. 
and the most bang for your buck. The actual serving size is three capsules. I only use one. I actually used two before and I had a hypo post gym. So I'm never ever doing that again. But yeah, one's enough for most people. Obviously, guys, this is just a general video about what I do. I'm not a, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a professional. It's just my opinion on my life. All right? Right, guys, and my current cycle at the moment, people keep asking, what's your sterile cycle? What are you taking? My current cycle at the moment is test at... No, do you know what? We'll talk about it in the next video. Oh, I got some questions from Instagram. Hold on. So I asked the Instagram um, people earlier on, all my friends, followers, whatever you want to call them, right? Ask me some questions for the old YouTube, right? So, how many slices of cheesecake count as a supplement? Johnny1296 underscore, aka Big Fucker. How many slices of cheesecake count as a supplement? What do you think, Dean? Ten. Ten? Well, it depends how big the slice is, right? True. Could have half a slice of cheesecake as a whole thing. Yeah. As many as you can eat on your free day, bro. Yeah, as many as you can eat on a free day. Or well, as many as your coach will allow. <laughs> Fuck your coach. <laughs> um, right, I got a good one by my good old mate Dex underscore life. Deck, big deck. If I spike my bird's vitamins with VAR and Cialis, can she peg me? Bro, she already pegged you, bro. She already pegs you. She, she's, not, she's not on any of that. All right. Thought you was natty, bro, by Hayden Prosser. Right, you fucking bastard. Listen, bro, I know I'm small, yeah, but I'm not natural. Imagine if I was natural, I'd be really fucking small. It'd be, that'd be a bit of a joke, innit? But I'm not natural, okay? I wish I was, please. And guys, that's, I've only got three questions. Next time, hit me up with more. I did the questions a bit late today. Right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later.